Hi, Rock Church family. As you know, we live in a world where it seems like everything is changing. Well, that's true at the Rock Church as well. We have some changes coming up to our weekend services that the pastors asked me to just give you an update, quick update on this. And just so you know, these changes have been thought through and prayed through. We, we've taken the, the data that we got from the surveys that you filled out for the last two weeks. That was very helpful, by the way. We've talked to other churches. We have listened to our government officials. We've listened to the experts. And we're going to go above and beyond what we can do to keep our services safe. And there are some changes here that, that you'll be interested in hearing. So I just want to give you a few announcements. Some you'll already know about, but others will be new. All right, just so you know, uh, we're moving back inside this weekend. So October 3rd and 4th, instead of being outside like we have been for the last 12 weeks, we'll be inside. And that's exciting. Uh, we'll have kids programs starting back up for nursery through kindergarten. And older kids, kids older than that, are welcome to hang out in the auditorium with their parents. Uh, just so you know, the service times will be the same as they used to be. 6 p.m. on Saturday nights and then 9.30 and 11.15 a.m. on Sunday mornings. And we're going to keep the one-hour format. We think that works well with what we're going through right now. So the services will be start to finish right about one hour, just so you know that. Uh, as far as coffee, which is awesome, coffee will be served to you. Like Starbucks or Beans and Brew, only better, they'll hand it to you. They'll hand you sugar, cream, whatever you need, uh, so that we can make sure everything is nice and clean and disinfected. Uh, chairs, I want to give you a shot real quickly of what the chairs look like. We set up the chairs, uh, keeping in mind social distancing. We put them in rows, but we put them six feet apart. And what we're going to ask you to do is, just like people do at the airports or any public place like a hospital, they ask people to self-regulate when it goes when it comes to being in your actual row. So keep a chair or two between you and your family and the next family next to you. So that's what we're going to do. Uh, as far as masks, masks are a big deal. Uh, here's what we've decided. I think we've come up with some good solutions. So uh, starting this weekend, masks will be encouraged. And uh, we want you to social distance all the time if you can. And if you can't, please wear a mask. That's what we're asking. Um, and if you want to be in a place where masks are required, we're setting aside a room in the back, Adventureland, where we're going to live stream the service and you can sit back there. Masks will be required in that room. Does that make sense? Okay, but starting the next week, which is October 10th and 11th, here's something brand new. And I think this is a good idea. Um, masks will be encouraged on Saturday night and Sunday morning at 11:15, the second service, which means mass will be required at the first service on Sunday mornings. That could be a shock to some of you. That could be really, some of you are really happy about that. So once you get in the building, if you come to first service, you'll be required to wear a mask. We have extras uh, the whole time you're in the building, the whole hour. And if you hang out afterwards in the lobby, we'll expect you to have your mask on and all the pastors and staff We'll have masks on as well. We just think that's a good idea. And then we have 45 minutes to clean up the auditorium for the next service. So starting not this weekend, but the next weekend, first service will be a mask required service. Some of you are like that idea. Some of you don't. I totally get it. And, and I'm going to address that in another little video that I'm going to do right now. So if you want to hear our reasoning for why we're doing what we're doing, then watch the next video. For the rest of you, God bless you. Have a good week. We'll see you this weekend.